Well, hello everyone. This goes out to my RVers and people that pull trailers out there. So I picked up a tire pressure monitoring system for this RV. It's an aftermarket system. This one was actually relatively cheap. I think it came in around 40 bucks, something like that, maybe 50. But I picked it up off Amazon, it had good reviews, and I wanted to try it mainly because the last time we drove to Colorado, we blew out a tire on our trailer. Now, it wasn't this RV, it was actually my dump trailer. I was bringing my skid steer out there. And, you know, luckily I could kind of feel it moving a little bit and I was able to get off the road quick enough, but we had no warning. So I wanted to get a trailer tire pressure monitoring system and basically any trailer I pull, I wanted to be able to put these on it and go. Now, any trailer I pull, that's not really true. I mean, this one will only work with trailers that have four tires or less. So two axles with a single tire on each one, it's not gonna work for say my gooseneck flatbed that's got eight tires on it. But this will work for um, our RV, this will work for my dump trailer, this will work for the little 16 foot flatbed. Um, anything with just four tires or less. So let me give you a little idea what happened here. This thing worked out extremely well for us on this trip because if you notice here, they're not pretty because I didn't clean those uh, wheels the best, but I have two new tires on here. Here's a Heartland, it's, it's a brand made by Carlisle. But anyways, this is a Heartland tire that, um, let's see, runs at 80 PSI and look, another Heartland tire that runs at 80 PSI. So we didn't have these tires on the RV. We had the original tires that were like, I think it's Westlake. And they've been fine actually. They've been everything we needed them to be. But now they're what, seven, eight years old? On our way to Colorado, we blew out a tire. Luckily though, we didn't have a massive catastrophe blowout. The air was dropping very quickly. This thing starts beeping at me. You can set a high and a low pressure on this unit uh, to alarm and I had set the low at like 50 pounds and the high at like 80 at the time because they were all 65 pound tires. So we're driving and it starts beeping going nuts and I'm like what the heck and then I look at this thing and it's dropping to 40, 38, 36, you know it, it just was dropping pretty pretty quickly. So I pulled over on the side of the road and sure enough that tire was going low and not only going low, the tread was starting to tear up on the tire uh, and it was wearing on the sidewall. So the tire was shot, but at least we didn't have a major blowout. It just let me know, hey, you know, your tire is very low on pressure. It's fixing to give out, you know, pull over. And it gave me the time I needed to pull over. Well, then we go to Discount Tire because I, I always insure my tires at, um, at Discount Tire you know, got them to put a new tire on, free of charge, bought certs on this tire again, and uh, we were on our way. So I had a Heartland that was a spare, and then I had my four Westlake tires that were on there. Well, so then we're, uh, we're going home, and I have another alert go off, telling me my tire, and it's doing the same thing, it's dropping fast, I pull over, and this time, it wasn't busted tread or nothing, but the tire was worn, Basically, like on the sidewalls, it was getting weight on it and it was wearing down the sidewalls enough where I could get them to replace it under a cert and just give me another tire and then I bought another cert on that tire. So that's why I have two Heartlands on here now. The point of that though is, is this system right here told me both times that I was having a, a blowout, that I was having a flat tire. And I've got no false alarms both times. It went off twice and both times it was a problem. This unit's pretty simple. You have the head unit here. It actually has a little solar panel in the back. So as it's sitting on your dash and you're using this as a stand to hold it, it's also charging it. And crazy enough, I don't know if you can see it, it's fully charged. I mean, I haven't charged it. It was half charged when I got it. I didn't charge it. I just threw it on the dash. By the next day when we were leaving, it was fully charged. So I'm pretty sure this, uh, Little solar panel on the back does more than enough to keep this tiny battery charged. Then on the wheels, on the wheel, you just install this basically valve stem cover, as you can see there. Now it comes with another nut. It, see, I took that off and it's saying, dude, you got zero PSI. Something just happened, you blew out a tire. I mean, that it worked that quickly. Uh, now watch, when I put this back on, that'll go away. Do 
see how quickly that went away i mean it's passing a signal back and forth pretty quick now these are just little battery operated sensors on here and basically they're just reading the pressure from your valve stem so eventually that battery will go out and and it comes with instructions on how to change the battery you can change the battery in these but i think this is just a handy little system i'm going to keep in my truck uh i can run it it, it goes well, I mean, these are 80 PSI tires, and so are my E-rate tires on my other trailer. So I don't think it's going to be a problem with PSI. It may not go up to 100, 120 like some of the gooseneck uh, trailer. Like my other trailer, I think they run at 110. It may not go that high. I don't know. But you can set it. But the, the high and the low on the unit, you can set. But yeah, I mean, these things work out great. And it comes with this extra nut um basically to secure the valve stem on there so you put the valve stem on you put the nut on first you put the valve stem cap on and then you tighten this nut down to the head it even comes with a little wrench to tighten it and you tighten it down to the cap so that they're both tightened together and this doesn't just randomly come off they call it theft deterrent i don't really know if it's that but it, at least it holds the valve stem cap on better so it doesn't just vibrate its way off all right so you can see we have one of those meters on each one of the valve stems and, and they have a label on them. Like this is front right. This one is rear right. Here is, uh, what is this, rear left. And this is front left. As you can see here, this is one of our old tires here. It's a, it's a Westlake. This was actually one of the tires that came with this RV. I'll put a link in the description of this uh, tire pressure monitoring system for a trailer and this thing is made in china so you know it's quality right pretty much everything today is made in china so anyways even though it's made in china it actually is a pretty decent little device but yeah this is a great little device it did so wonderful for us on our way to colorado i'm going to use this every time i'm pulling a trailer i'm going to keep this turned off and in my glove box of my truck and every time i put a trailer on i'm going to use this because that thing was a lifesaver, not once, but twice. All right, if this video was helpful, please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel. That's the red button right below the video that says subscribe. It's absolutely free and it really helps us out. Uh, so please go ahead and click that button and uh, keep an eye out for more of our videos. Thanks everyone.